Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Programming Knowledge. So this is the last part of the five-part video tutorial series on how to create a user creation, uh, read, update, and delete application. So in this particular video, guys, we're just going to add the finishing touches for this particular project. So the first thing that we're going to add is the user's prompt. So, so for example, we're, we're trying to add users so there should be a display here that says that the user has been added successfully or whatever we have already deleted the subject or the, the users then there should be a display also for uh, the the user has been deleted successfully or if there's an error and also if the user has been edited successfully so we're going to all uh, we're going to add all that in this particular video so let's start let's go back to our code editor and try working on with our index.page okay so right about here we need to add all the prompts or all the display if there's uh, an action that has been done in our project so if we added users if we edited the users or if we have deleted the users or if there's an error uh, of any actions that we have define or we have uh, done in our project so the first thing is we need to open up our PHP tag here and check if the query variable for uh, updated is set so the first um, event or action that we're going to check if there's an update so this is this query variable is coming from the uh, form.php so if you try to go here in form.php and we have here after editing or updating the file or the, the user we're going to redirect the user into index.php and we're setting up the updated query variable so here we're just trying to check if that particular query variable is present then we need to display something so um, echo and then define a div here let's just close this div first and add classes to this so class we're going to use the alert coming from the bootstrap so alert and this alert is of type info and alert should be dismissible dismissible fade and show and the role of this particular element is to alert okay and inside this we need to define a strong message so strong user and updated with success and we need to add a button to our uh, alert so button this is actually for closing the alert so button and then we're just going to close this for now and the type of this should be of course button and this should have the class of close and data dismiss again guys this is the power of bootstrap technology so if you want to know more about bootstrap technology so we have plenty of tutorials in our channel you can check that out and try to learn this awesome project bootstrap so yeah label should be of course close and this should contain also a span and close this as well and try to um, add another attribute
they should be inside the spawn element there you go and here is the icon for our close button so times there you go and we'll just try this for now so save index.php and let's try to go to our browse refresh the page and let's go to form.php by clicking on uh, this uh, record so we have here a error for us so form that page be on line 15 so on call, uh, call to undefined function fetch on line 15 so we're going to try and check if what's the problem with this particular function so form line 15 so there you go row user and we missed the symbol greater than sign and we just need to refresh this okay and save let's go back to our browser and refresh so there you go we have the user with ids uh, id equals to seven so the values for name is jake nomer and the email is jake nomer at gmail.com so for example we don't like the the last name for this so jake we're just going to use Jake Krenka for now and save. So there you go. We have the alert that says the user updated with success. So we know that our uh, alert function or alert uh, uh, logic is working. So we're trying to do the same thing with update. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, delete and error and also the whatever we have added a new user okay so go back to index.php and for us to have or for us to save time i'll just copy and paste this line or these lines and try to paste it here else if uh is set uh, deleted so we're just going to change the values also here user deleted with success there you go and of course we need to add another one for uh, inserted else if inserted is defined then this will be inserted with success and another one for error else if url query error is defined then it means um, db or database error something like that and try to change this message also so say for example something something went wrong with your action okay try again so for now let's try this uh, inserted if it will work for us and maybe delete it later on so go back to our and try to re uh, refresh the page so inserted Let's try to add a new user. So this will be Jane or James. James Jones. And the email is jamesjones at gmail.com. There you go. And try to save. So there you go. User inserted with success. So we know that uh, the alert for our data insertion is working. So another one is for the delete okay so i think we we already have defined the link and as you can see uh this is working link but we need to add certain logic for this for the deletion of user should work so let's go back to our um code editor, uh, code editor for now okay so in in our index.php we need also to 
uh, try to delete if the user click on the delete button so if he set um, the get variable if get delete id is set then that means that the user try is trying to delete a certain record from our database so get and of course we need to supply the delete id delete id there you go so try and catch again with pdo exception okay so and try to display um, pdo exception the message from the exception of course and inside here we're going to check if the user id is not equal to null because there's no point if the user id is uh, null there's going uh, there's no point of uh, deleting it from our user and it will cause errors if the id is null of course so first is we're going to check if it is null so if object user delete and of course we need to supply the id for that and open and close parentheses and object user we need to use the redirect function and redirect to index that php with of course the deleted query variable so deleted and before anything else also we need to add a confirmation if the user try uh, tries to delete a certain record so for now we're going to add a confirmation class for this particular button delete so that we can prompt the user if uh, he accidentally click on that particular delete button so class and confirmation there you go and then we're going to define here the query or jquery confirmation so if the class uh, confirmation and then if the user or i mean the jquery detects the click on confirmation class then we can return are you sure you want to delete this user and the user has the option to uh, go or continue with this action so save index.php and try to refresh our page so after refreshing the page i got this error um unexpected dollar sign on line 20 so we just need to add a variable name here so it should be okay so save that index.php and go back to our browser so let's try to delete a record here so i think the second record is good so click on this and a confirmation will be displayed are you sure you want to delete this user and then click on ok so as you can see user deleted with success but i think but i think the user is still there so we're going to check what's wrong with our logic so here we're just going to try and display the id if there's an id here so or if the id is set here so id for down equals to id and and we're going to disable first the redirect for now so we can see if there's something wrong with our logic so let's go back to our browser refresh the page and click on this and okay so bind param expects at least two parameters so I, as you can see we have an error here uh, user that page be on line 55 so we'll try to um, try to figure out what's wrong with line 55 so let's go to user that php and on line 55 we need to figure out so here i think we need to make some changes so as you can see bind param expects us to have two parameters but we only supplied one which is the id so we need also to include the placeholder for that 
and I'll, I'll just copy and paste this here and also I've noticed that I uh, spelled the from keyword of SQL and also I missed the execute okay so I think it should do or it should solve our problem so before that also you need to change the index.php so on comment this line and remove the var dump test and let's try to go back to our browser and check to see if now the delete, uh, the delete is working so refresh the page and try to delete a certain record by clicking this icon and okay so there you go user deleted with success and we now only have four records and we can try another one for this click and okay and we can view the information of this also and redirecting to edit.php with all the information included for this particular user and here's all the uh, users from our database so i think that concludes our five part tutorial series on this particular project so we can now uh, add user we can now read the user we can update and of course we can delete the user so thank you for watching and if you're new here in our channel please consider subscribing and press the notification bell so you'll get updated whenever we have a new upload thanks